of the day, I'm pretty sure my white mom was there when I was born. So for everyone saying that I need to identify as black and be part of the movement, well, first of all, um, who are you to tell, who am I to tell anyone how to identify? And that goes both ways. In my experience, the white father of the black child is more honest. In my experience, the white father of the black child is more honest with his child about their race. The white father of the black child is more honest with his child about their race. And the reason I think the black, the white father, the reason I think the white father is more honest with his child about their race is because the white man understands that white men rule this society and the white man understands that the black child even being mixed race will never be given the privileges or opportunities of the unmixed white child. The white man because he makes the rules the white man because he lives by the rules the white man because he reinforces the rules he is more honest with his mixed race child the white father will tell his daughter you are black the white father will tell his son you are black but the white mother on the other hand the white mother is more in denial see karen Karen, Betsy, Pat, and Elizabeth are more likely to tell their mixed race children that they are mixed race, biracial, almost white, half white. They are more likely to deceive their child into believing that they are mixed race, almost white, multiracial, biracial the white woman knows that in american society their child is going to be treated as an african because that's what they are but the problem the reason betsy and karen and pat and elizabeth cannot tell their child that they are black is because they have to admit to themselves they would have to admit to themselves that they gave birth to an African child. And so the racism within the white mother, the racism within the white mother, the racism within the white mother forces her into a state of denial. The racism within the white mother, the racism within the white mother forces her into a state of denial regarding the true race of her child. So with that being said, if you are the black man with a snow bunny baby mother, if you are the black man with a snow bunny baby mother, if you are the black man with a snow bunny baby mother, you have your hands full because your daughters, more than your sons, because see with the boys, American racism is so powerful. South African racism is so powerful. Canadian racism is so powerful. French racism is so powerful. British racism, Irish racism, German racism, Italian racism, European racism is so strong that even if the boy is mixed race, he will sooner or later come to know that he is black. It's different with the boys because the black man is a threat. It's different with the boys because the black man is a threat. If the boy is mixed race, society will treat him in such a way that he knows he black and he's not white. With the girls, it's a little different. With the girls, it's a little different. With the girls, they want to seduce the girls. They want to emotionally and psychologically seduce the black girls into thinking they're going to be accepted by white folks because they need the black girls to do the bidding of the white power structure against the black boys. I hope you heard what I just said. I hope you heard what I just said.
I hope you Negroes just heard what I said. I said, if it is a mixed race boy, a mixed race boy will be awakened to the realities of his race before the mixed race girl. The mixed race boy will know at four, five, and six, he's not white. The mixed race boy will know at six, seven, and eight, he's not white. The mixed race girl might not find out until she's a teenager because America likes to seduce the mixed race black girl because women are not the threat. Women only become the threat when they stand with their man. Black women are not the threat. Black women only become a threat when they stand with their man. Black women are not the threat. Black women only become the threat when they stand by their man. That's why feminism is so important to the destruction of the black family. That's why feminine feminism is so important when it comes to the destruction of the black family. That's right. Feminism must be used to destroy the black family. And so with the boys, they don't care if they green eyes, straight hair. If that boy is black, white America will let him know. He going to get referred for special ed. He going to get suspended. He going to get expelled. He going to get put on Ritalin, Adderall, Concerta, ADHD, conduct disorder. The mixed race black boy is going to be awakened to his race sooner than later. The mixed race black girl is going to be psychologically and emotionally seduced into thinking she's a part of the power structure because they need black women to help them destroy black men. They need black women to help them destroy black men. They need black women to help them destroy black men. So let me go on. If you are a black man, with children to a white woman. You have to sit your snow bunny down. Listen to me, snow bunny loving brothers. Listen to me, please, snow bunny loving black children. I'm doing this seminar for the benefit of the children, not you. You didn't already screwed up. I'm doing this benefit, I'm doing this seminar for the benefit of my mixed race brothers and sisters being raised by your snow bunny. So black men, you have to sit your snow bunny down. Black men, you have to sit your snow bunny down and you have to tell her, listen, these children are black. Yes, they have a white mother. Yes, they have white relatives. Yes, they have white family. Yes, they have white grandmothers, but they are black. Black is the dominant gene. It is the most dominant gene of the human family. White is the most recessive gene of the human family. So even if that little girl comes out of that snow bunny womb, white as snow, even if that little African princess comes out of that snow bunny womb, white as snow, you have to let your snow bunny who is in denial about her daughter being black. You have to let your snow bunny who is in denial about her daughter being black. You have to let that snow bunny know, even though she looks white right now. Even though she looks white right now. Even though she looks white right now. By the time she goes to kindergarten, the great divine mother of Africa is going to start manifesting herself. By the time she goes to kindergarten, the great African divine feminine is going to start manifesting herself. You're going to start seeing the African kinks in her hair. You're going to start seeing her nose might spread a little bit. Her lips might get a little fuller. Her ears are going to get a little browner around the edges. When she get to middle school, her body is going to start forming like a black woman's body. She's not going to have the cave booty of the Caucasian. She's going to end up with a plump African rump. That girl is going to metamorphose. That girl is going to metamorphose into a black woman. So let your snow bunny queen know that my daughter looks white because she just came from a white womb. But the ancestor in her is an African. My daughter looks white because she just came from a European womb. 
but the African ancestor in her is sooner or later going to start manifesting herself. This is an African goddess. This is not a snow bunny. She came out of a snow bunny, but she is an African goddess. And sooner or later, the great African divine feminine, sooner or later, the great African divine feminine will manifest itself. So I need you to understand, and I hope all white women are watching. I want my white mothers to watch who really care about your black children. I want my white mothers to watch if you really care about your black children. If you are a white woman who cares about your mixed race African children, you need to be listening right now. And you need to share this video right now. And everybody who know a black man with children with a white woman, here's what the black man has to tell the snow bunny mother of his African children. Here's what the black man has to tell the snow bunny mother of his African children. You have to say, listen, I understand you are white. I understand your family is white. My children are black and I need you to have a conversation with your family so that everybody is clear that these kids are not mixed racial, they not biracial, they not quad racial, they not almost white, they are black. I do not want my children being confused. I need you to understand that. You gave birth to a black child. It was a black seed that fertilized your Neanderthal eggs. It was a black African divine seed that fertilized your Neanderthal egg. The baby is African, whether you like it or not, and that baby will give birth to more African children. These girls are not giving birth to white kids. When they have children, those children will be black. And then you tell her, they need black dolls, African black dolls, not the ones with the blonde hair, not the ones with the blonde hair, we're not giving that. No, 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 no. My daughters will not be taught to worship white standards of beauty. You do not give my children white doll babies. They get black doll babies. They can get every shade. Give them a chocolate fudge doll baby. Give them a sweet brown sugar doll baby. Give them a butter almond doll baby. Give them a butter pecan doll baby. And give them a French vanilla African doll baby. Give them a, a, a African vanilla doll baby. Give them every color. Don't just give them blue, black, purple because we come in every shade. Give them every color of African. But there's no need for my daughters to have a white doll baby. And she's going to say, your snow bunny baby mom. Your snow bunny baby mom is going to say, why can't my daughters have a white doll baby? And you're going to say, why do they need a white doll baby when they have you to look at all day? Why do my black daughters need a white doll baby when they have a white mother to look at all day? Why do my white daughters need a white doll baby when they have a white grandmother to look at all day? I digress. You have to tell your snow bunny baby mom or wife or wife my daughters are black they don't need a white white doll baby and the reason my daughters don't need a white doll baby is they got to look at you all day aren't you white enough they already have a white doll baby their mother they have a white grandmother they got white aunts they got white cousins why do they need a white doll baby when most women they will see when they go to work go to school are white they don't need a white doll baby. They have a white mother. That's enough whiteness right there. So now. So now. With that being said, you let her know that all dolls are black. Then you tell her your daughter is to have pictures and posters of unapologetically African inventors leaders, activists, ancestors on her wall. Oh yes. That house, the house where a mixed race black girl is being raised. Same is true if she's not mixed race. Same is true if she's not mixed race. 
Same is true if she's not mixed race, but if she's a mixed race black girl, to avoid the racial confusion that the Snow Bunny mother will heap upon her black daughters, to avoid the psychological confusion